anything wrong, you don't have to worry about us. Please. Your job is this right here, sir. Do you have a copy of this right here? I don't carry it around with me. And you're going to use force against me no, if I don't I'm leave. I'm saying you are going to be arrested if y'all don't leave our truck. So you're going to... Nothing crazy happening right now. I just uh, was passing through this town. We were heading back to the trailer. And uh, was following kind of behind this cop. And I saw him... Uh, saw him whip around and pull this guy over. It looked like he had a burnout taillight or something when the guy drove by. So uh, I stopped there just to take a look at that and uh, just observing here and doing a little uh doing a little loving of my neighbor well, or your window up a little bit honey you can bring the camera in and uh make sure that everything's on the up and out how you doing sir we help you well we're just observing huh we're just observing oh okay what's going on here all right no, this is a yeah, stop. why do you have somebody in handcuffs for a traffic stop well, it's not, it's not your concern, okay? Well, it's very much my concern. You work for the people, and I'm just observing to try and make sure no, that nothing untoward's going on. But I'm just, it's just a, I think it's a reasonably curious question. Is it normal to put somebody in, in handcuffs for a traffic well, that's stop? Her, that's her business, okay? So oh, hi, ma'am. How you doing? No, I'm it's good, not. But you do need to get off my traffic stop. No, I don't. I'm just observing. Okay, but I'm, what, I'm, what, I, what I'm telling you is uh -huh. the person that was arrested, it's not any of your business because that's her personal business, what she got arrested for. So it's none of your concern. No, actually, that's a matter of public record, sir. Okay. Okay, well, you look it up in public record. Yeah. Oh, sure. I, and I can't force you to tell me. I mean, it would be it would be cordial of you to do so. Um, but uh, I'm just observing. I'm not here to interfere. And uh, you guys shouldn't be uncomfortable with being filmed. I mean, it looks like you have body cams yourself, so it's not like you should be right. uncomfortable. Well, Can I ask how old you are? Can I ask how old you are? Yeah. Can we ask you a question? Okay. You can ask, yeah. The reason why we're here right now talking to you is because we're on a traffic stop and you pull behind us, okay? Right. And we don't know who you are. Yeah, I'm well behind you. Okay. So actually, what's weird to me is that you're on a traffic stop and you're over here talking to me instead of dealing with your traffic stop. Okay. Well, she's already detained, okay? What's your, what's your name, sir? I'm Officer Garcia. Garcia, I'm Gavin. What's okay. your name, ma'am? Cantrell. Cantrell. All right. You're, you're pretty young. Are you new? All right. You have a good night. They're, they're getting them young because they can brainwash them easy, right? Now, I wanted you to notice, though, they said, oh, you, she said, you have to get off my traffic stop. No, I don't. And this is the thing, a little bit of assertiveness goes a long way, right? To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous of, especially of Texas cops. They have a reputation for being abusive. And, and look, I mean, I know the Texans get offended by this. I'm not here to pick on Texans. It's simply a fact. Texas cops are notorious for doing things they should not. People will accuse me saying, well, Gavin, you're distracting him. No, not at all. I'm, I'm at a safe distance. I'm, I'm far less danger to anyone here than they are. And I'm just here to observe. And what I want to encourage all of you guys to do, look, you just stop and watch, right? Just stop and engage. If they talk to you, you talk to them. But you don't have to answer any of their questions. The police in America are completely out of control. Every arrest they make now, every conviction in court, it's all a violation of the Constitution, guys. The Constitution is the law. Now, for, for me, in a situation like this, I can't fight everything. So I'm just here to observe, make sure this doesn't turn into some kind of a beatdown or something like that, right? And here they come again. Can y'all go ahead and leave the scene? Um, am, I, am I causing you some concerns? Yes, yes you are, because you're behind our traffic stop. And you're in Would it make you more comfortable if I pulled no, up on the side that, here? That's even closer to you us. You have two okay. choices. Either you can leave my scene or both of you are going to be arrested. For what? For interfering. How am I interfering? You're interfering with my traffic stop. I don't like you sitting right here behind You me. don't get right. to dictate that, but right. can you call a supervisor out and I can talk to him? We've already, we've already talked to him, okay? Can you tell me what law I'm breaking? You're interfering with our traffic stop, okay? In what way am I doing that? You're interfering, because we're over here speaking with you, okay? Isn't it, uh, the Supreme Court has upheld our right just right, to film police officers or not. tell you one more time. Are you gonna leave or you not? You can either leave right now with your kids in your vehicle. Okay, so you're threatening you're my family with force then, is that what it is? No. We're asking you to leave. And you're gonna use force against me if no, I don't I'm leave. You are gonna be arrested if y'all don't leave our traffic. So you're gonna, at the point of a gun, you're gonna threaten harm to my family, is that correct? I never said that. That's what you're saying. Okay, well, one, 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 one more chance. Either leave the scene or step out of the vehicle and you're gonna be arrested. Okay, well, since you're threatening my life, I'm gonna move away from the scene because you guys are threatening the, my life and the life of my, my four kids in here. Um, you are well outside the law. And normally, if I was by myself, I would probably refuse, but I got my family in the car. You are breaking the law right now. You're violating your oath. You're acting as criminals. All right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move somewhere else and film you to make sure that you're not on tour to this. I want your, what's your badge number, ma'am? It's 208. Okay, I, I, you, I intend to have you held accountable for this. All what's right, your rank? Going to leave, please. I will, I will move is what I will do. I'm not going to leave. I'm going to move where I want to, ma'am. Okay, goodbye.
So here's the thing, guys. Somebody wanna, I would, I would appreciate it. What town is this we're in? Uh, Sloot. Oh, here's another officer. Let's, uh, let's see here. Let's back up. Let's go into this parking lot here. I'm gonna get a little further away. He's saying come here. Nope. Roll up your window. Hey, right, come here, come here. Hey, sir. If you want to speak to me, sir, I'll be right here. I'm just moving away. You can come over and talk. I just wanted to get out of here. These guys are nuts. How you doing, sir? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm feeling very threatened by the behavior of your officers here. Okay. Because I'm exercising my First Amendment right. Sure. And you guys are acting like bullies, or they are rather. I don't want to speak for you. I don't know you. I'll go ahead and identify, identify myself. I'm Sergeant Park. I'm in the police department. Are you a supervisor of these guys? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Well, I'm glad you're here because um, they just they threatened my family's life just now. How so? Because they said that we were both going to be arrested. I got four kids in the car. Mm -hmm. If we were both arrested, mm -hmm. not only that, my wife has no control over me driving my vehicle. Right. I'm 30 feet back from them. We as the civilianry, sir, yes. we have to look over our shoulders all the time mm -hmm. to see if we're being followed or if we're going to be harassed and collected by a police officer in today's You're not America. Doing anything wrong, you don't have to worry about us. That's nonsense because I wasn't doing anything wrong and they just threatened to arrest me and my wife, which would result in my kids being taken by child protective, protective services thousands of miles from my home. Would you consider that a threat if you were out and about? You're good. Go back. You're good. I don't understand. You seem like a reasonable, calm person. Absolutely. I don't understand how you cannot understand the situations we face. You, as the officers, are supposed to be out here keeping the peace and de-escalating situations. Exactly. They, and, they're under arrest because they have warrants for their arrest. That's not our fault. They didn't pay their tickets. So what kind of tickets are they? I'm not allowed to tell you that because... You are allowed. It's public no, record. It's Okay, well, if it's public record, you can go research it, but I'm not going to disclose you have no relation to the person being arrested, so I don't, I don't know. Feel, They're humans. I don't feel comfortable <laughs> releasing their information. Okay, to fair you. enough. Okay. Okay. You've got somebody that's got, let's say, three or four traffic tickets, whatever it might be on their record. Maybe it's a burnout taillight. And you think it's law to go out and take people's cars to impound, lock them away in jails with no victim because their taillight was burned out? Does that seem okay to you? Only Is that America? That we do, whenever we see a traffic offense, we just issue the citation. We don't do any judgment. That's for the judge to do. No, it's not. It You're is. all accountable. Is. That is the procedure. We Haven't just you? issue the ticket and then they get a court date or whatever. The judge sets the fine. Now, if they don't take care of their fine or whatever, the municipality is the one that issues the warrant. Isn't there right and wrong? Aren't you accountable? Just like the people in the Nuremberg trials. If you I don't know how that the difference in right and wrong plays into what we're talking about though. It's All we know is it comes back that they have an active warrant and then we have to take them in to jail. That's our job. We have no, no choice. There's no that's nonsense. It's there's not no your choice. Do. Your job is this right here, sir. Do you have a copy of this right here? I don't carry it around with me. Well you should. You don't do you don't carry the constitution? Do you know what the sixth amendment is? The fourth amendment? You don't you don't carry a copy of the constitution? We don't carry a copy of the constitution with us, sir. Why? We I want you to keep that. Carry a law book. You, you need one. No, That's I'm the best. I'm not gonna take your property. That is your law book. I have plenty of those. I'm gonna leave it right here because I'm not gonna take your property, okay? Two or three. What was the location of that call I was in route to? Area of fourth street and Wiley. First caller was from eleven fifty, fourth street, second caller was from five sixteen Riley. What was the nature of the call? Hearing of gunshots in the area. That is why I have to leave. Do you understand? Well, okay, okay so but if, you if came you out here. Please, it wasn't too urgent, you, or you wouldn't have come out here. Well, I was concerned for the safety of my I officers. was concerned okay. for the safety of my family, and okay. your officers threatened them, I'm and I want some you. disciplinary action taken on that front. Everything is going good. If you would please just maintain your distance where you're at right now, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and go. What okay. I want you to think about tonight, I know that you have this idea that you do your job, but just remember, there's no just doing your job. There's right or wrong. You took an oath to this Constitution, whether you carry a copy or not. Okay, well, and this Constitution right and wrong is law. an opinion, okay? So no, it's harassing police officers is probably considered wrong to most people. We're just trying to do our I'm job. I'm not harassing anyone. You're, I'm, we're I'm trying observing to do our you. job. You're trying to make our job harder, okay? That's Actually, all you're I doing. made no contact. Okay. You realize that your officers contacted me. I didn't endanger orders. them. I did not orders. endanger them. But they I didn't was come well and out of distance. You. They didn't do anything like that. All I, I wasn't giving them do, that option. All I wanted you to do is just keep your distance to where you're at. My right distance now. was kept. I was 10 feet away, sir. The difference between where I am now and there was nonsensical. Okay. You just wanted to exert okay, your look, authority. 
I just want you to see, stay about this distance I'm away. not. Okay. The only reason I moved is because you guys threatened my family with violence. Okay, we didn't threaten anything. Yes, you did. You That's what an arrest is. You were threatened that you'd be placed under arrest for interfering with the police investigation. And if I had attempted to defend myself, leave. I wasn't interfering with nothing. You guys were leaving okay. your police investigation. I'm trying to make sure that no interference happens. I'm trying the to make sure The only one that's that interfered here, escalates. sir, is you. The only one that's violated their oath is your officers. And that's what you need to think about. If you got a call, I don't want to keep you from it. You better get going. I am. You have a nice night. You too. Listen, guys, this, this is the norm. This is America, you guys. Now, normally, right, I've talked about this before. I'm going to resist to a point, but these people were threatening me. Make no mistake, they were threatening my life. If I had, if they had tried to illegally arrest me, I was breaking no law whatsoever, which is why none of them could cite a law. Had they tried to arrest me and I defended myself, and my family, I would have been killed, period. End of story. If I had used force to resist. That's why I'm not gonna take it. That's why I moved 10 feet away to change the direction of the conversation because I wanna stay in control of this conversation. Yes, they're the bullies. Yes, they're violating their oath, but we illustrated that. We showed, here's their supervisor. He doesn't even have a constitution with him. He, he looked at it like, what's this? Did you see the sneer on his face? He's like, what? What, what, what he looks at that? I'm just doing my job. Guys, this is Nazi Germany stuff. This person, there was no violent crime. They arrested this person and the tow truck driver. Remember we had a conversation about tow truck drivers recently? The tow truck driver is stealing their car right now. They will have to pay hundreds of dollars to get it out over what? Unpaid traffic fines that were probably illegal to write in the first place. This isn't okay. This isn't freedom. This is not justice. This is not liberty. I'm tired of my neighbors being locked in cages from every faction across the nation. I'm tired of these kids back here. I'm tired of them being put in danger and in fear. So we pushed back. We didn't run away. We kept the camera going, but I have to keep my family safe. These are false law. These are false law enforcement. This is false authority. You can pick up a camera, you can take action, and I can tell you from experience, usually, usually the cops aren't this psycho. Generally, you can point a camera at them and they'll leave you alone, but you'll notice I stayed in the car, windows half up, doors locked, cameras going before I engaged with them, backup camera, another backup camera. <laughs> so we had it going, okay guys, say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. What, bye. do you have anything to say? They're a bunch of minions. They're a bunch of minions. I think that's a, that's about right. They're a bunch of minions doing what they're told. Mm -hmm. Any, anything to say? Mm -mm. No? Asher, anything to say? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to go get some rest.